So with CJ Hopgood, who just won his heat, how do you feel right now after just winning? <laughs> um, well, yeah, it was the last heat of the day, so I think everyone's wanting to go home. But, um, yeah, stoked. Is it? Yeah, my fly's down. There you go. Um, good. I watched a lot of good heats, and uh, I wanted to go out there and try to do something. And uh, I didn't really do anything, but um, that's what happens out there sometimes. So, But, yeah, fortunate I made it, and I'll go out there and give it a crack tomorrow. And... Uh, yeah, you know, it's it's surfing. You always, you know, wake up the next day, and uh, hopefully it's a little bit better, and uh, we'll see if that's the case. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited about tomorrow. Live to see another day, and then hopefully I'm sticking around till Saturday, and I'm surfing, and uh, we'll, see, we'll see what happens. Uh, just make it to the last day and go from there, I guess. <laughs> CJ Hobgood, I am surely good, and good, Thanks. good, good. What has been going on good right now in your life? Um, well, gosh, uh, probably too many things um i get to surf for a living i get to play in the water um that's uh that's pretty crazy uh and then i'm here with my beautiful daughter and my sister and friends and we're staying at a house in san clemente and uh having a good time and then i get to go to tahiti next week for another contest and uh so besides getting old man everything's uh everything's uh Gosh, beyond my wildest dreams for sure. So yeah, there's a lot of things to be thankful for, and um, yeah, life's good. That's very good. What's the one thing people don't know about you that you know? If you look at you, you see this pro surfer who travels the world. Like something someone wouldn't expect out of you. Like what would you have to say that you do? Um, gosh, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm I'm pretty sarcastic. I don't take myself too serious. Uh, I kind of only feel comfortable if people are ragging on me kind of deal so uh yeah i don't i have trouble with compliments so um me too <laughs> i'm the same way i need to learn just to say thank you but uh yeah so i don't know maybe that's the thing i don't know that makes sense okay how long have you been on tour right now this is my 10th year it's your 10th year so you obviously have to have crazy stories of being on tour for 10 years can you give us some of your stories that you had um, well, yeah, there's definitely a lot, of, obviously, a lot of stories. Um, I remember when I first was doing the tour, you know, you had to be, like, 25 to rent a car or whatever, and uh, me and my brother would go up to the counter, and, uh, and I would put a hat on, because we're twins as well, and I'd put a hat on, and uh, I had an ID that said I was, uh, you know, 25, uh -huh. and then I would say, oh, I, I need to drive the car, but my brother is going to rent the car, you know? <laughs> So, um, so we could, so we could, so we were able to rent cars, you know, when we first got on tour, it was, uh, you'd rock up to these places and yeah. you had to get a car. There yeah. was no way around it. So we were going to figure out how to do it. And, um, yeah, just, you know, just traveling, man. Everyone travels. It's, it's you know, I mean, the element of surprise is so many, so many stories, but it teaches, you know, just to go with the flow and cruise and, uh, there's a lot of things, you, you know, out of your control and you just, yeah, it's helped me enjoy uh, everything else I do, that's for sure. Okay, so your name is CJ Hobgood. Do you have a nickname that your family or friends call you? Uh, or just CJ? <laughs> a lot of four-letter words, no. Um, <laughs> Siege. My name is CJ. I just remember going with Siege. I, I think that's about it. Siege. Siege? Yeah. That works for me. Okay. Well, thank you for interviewing with me, and good luck in your heat tomorrow. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye. <laughs>